What do you do when your voiceover talent doesn't follow directions? Okay, I think we've all probably been there before when we have to import the audio for our individual slides. And what you've done is you've hired a voice voiceover talent to record all of that. And rather than recording, you know, however many slides that you have in individual files, they record the narration in one big long recording. So what do you do? Well, today I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, I've got uh, one of my courses here and I've got the first five slides all recorded as a single audio. Now, your first instinct might be to open up uh, something like Adobe Audition and edit out uh, all the different uh, slides into individual WAV files. You actually don't need to do that with Adobe Captivate. I'm going to drag this first five slides dot WAV file onto my first slide here, well in this case my second slide. It's going to import the audio and I'll show you a neat little trick that allows you to mark the different slides right on the audio file. So in this case here, I'm going to distribute the audio file over several slides. So I can select this option here and click OK. And what's going to happen is that I'm going to have the slide audio window open up. And at this point, what I can do is I can, you know, zoom into the different parts of the audio. And in this case here, we'll play back a little bit of it here. Welcome to the Workplace Violence Prevention Online Forum. Click the bright arrow to begin. So there's the first slide. All I need to do is use this little marker that you see here to start the next slide at the cursor position, if of course possible. So I do that and you'll see a mark here and I can continue to play back. Click the right arrow to proceed. And there's my slide two. And I can repeat this process until I have all of the different um, elements marked, all the different slides marked accordingly. So I found the next slide here. We'll mark that and continue to play it back. And here's the final spot for slide number five in this case here. And I can go ahead and hit save. And what's going to happen is that it's going to adjust the duration of all of the slides in question and place each clip on each individual slide. So if I take a look at my timeline here, you'll see, of course, there's the first clip, there's the second clip and so on. So rather than going in and editing the file with a separate application, you can use Adobe Captivate to do much of that work for you. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, hire me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that achieves your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.